last video tutorial on One Way Innova in SAS Part 2. So you should have watched Part 1 before you jump into this one because we already have the code here. What we're going to do now is we're going to be looking for differences that exist. Okay, We've tested before, found a p-value that's less than 0 0.001, and this implies that there are differences across these treatments. But what we want to do is find out which ones uh, are different and which ones are the same. So what we're going to do is take our code here and we're going to copy and paste it so that we have our one test. And then what we're going to do next is what's called a Tukey's HSD test or procedure. Tukey's HSD procedure. Now here, Tukey's HSD means honestly significant difference procedure. And what it's trying to do is find out where these differences exist. I'm going to paste in my code that I have before because all I need to do is modify it just a little bit and we can get this to work. So uh, there's several ways that you can do post hoc comparisons. Uh, a lot of people will use means, uh, but that requires balanced. So I'm going to use least squares means, which will also give me uh, the ability to test this. Here I put in what I'm testing across. In this case, it's the same as the class. It's the same as the model. Uh, and it's the so it's the treatment that we're interested in. And then I'm going to put a slash here. And then I'm going to put adjust to tell it what method I want to use. And in here I want to use Tukey, not Turkey. So Tukey, and this should produce the uh, results that I want. There's lots of other methods in here. There's Shafe, there's Nelson, Dunnett, Sidak. Uh, you can go and find out all of this by just doing a quick Google search. But let's run this here real quick and see what this produces. All right, so here's what we get. Uh, so this is from the ANOVA up here, so you can see our box plots. But this is really what we're interested in here, and we're going to have to pay attention really closely to these numbers, because if you notice here, it says treatment H, well, that's LS mean number one. So this is one here and one here. So you kind of have to go back and forth and translate in between them. Uh, so just be a little bit careful about this. So low is 2, medium is 3, and none is 4. Uh, it may not be in the order that it was put in the data set, so just keep that in mind. So what this gives us is a matrix of p-values that are adjusted uh, for the appropriate test. So if I look here... Uh, notice along the diagonals, it doesn't say that there's any information, and that's because you're testing the difference between 1 and 1, and that's 0, and everybody knows it is. But this is the difference between 1 and 2, okay? So that would be the difference between high and low, and you see you have a small p-value, which would say those are statistically different. Uh, notice you have a high p-value between 1 and 3, so 1 is high, three is medium. So if I look here, we would say that this is not statistically different. We have a high p-value between one and four. So high and none has a high p-value which says that high seems to behave different than none. And you can go through and decipher this out, but you just have to keep looking at both of these tables in order to decipher it back. Uh, and notice also that this table is symmetric in the sense that the values over here are the same as the values over here. Uh, and it should make sense because they should be the same. Uh, we're testing the exact same thing. But this gives us the information we're, we're interested in. SAS gives you a few other plots here. They just show you the means on a picture. But, you know, if you already have this box plot, what do you need that other picture for? And this just shows you which ones are significant and which ones aren't. Uh, it's a little bit hard to read. None with low, you can see. So here's the line N that goes across here. Shows you if it crosses it, then it's different than. So I have high and medium. Uh, but notice that low does not cross the, or it's red, it crosses this line, and so it's not different. And that's how you read that plot. Uh, it, it is an interesting picture, it's just maybe not that useful. All right, so now we know how to do a post-hoc comparison in uh, SAS for an ANOVA test, and now we can move on to the next video.